Thanks for playing America's biggest jackpot game, the one and only Powerball, and we'll see you Wednesday. You are watching WBIR-TV Channel 10 Knoxville. The news starts now. It's flooded before, but not to this intensity. A full day of rain left much of East Tennessee underwater. Several streets became rivers, and homes like this one submerged in several feet of standing water. And there's bad news for some folks because it looks like more rain is on the way. Good evening, I'm Beth Haynes. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Rain continues to move through, but the real threat now is flooding. Meteorologist Julia Johnson joins us with the very latest. And Julia, Mother Nature has really left a mess. Yeah, it definitely has. And we still have more, as you said, coming in our direction. We are actually under a flood watch until the middle portion of the day tomorrow. So we have more showers moving in now. We'll get a brief break overnight and then more showers expected on Sunday morning. Right now we have a little bit of lightning along the Smoky Mountain line, but notice still quite a bit of rainfall coming down here in Knoxville. More moving in from the west as well. These are continuing to push right on through to the north and east and we'll continue to see showers at least for the next couple of hours and then we'll get a brief break in the overnight hours. But again, more expected to develop. We still have these flood watches in effect until the middle portion of the day tomorrow so that is the main concern right now is our flood watch still a flood warning for portions of Knox County also Loudoun and Anderson counties as well we have already picked up almost four inches of rainfall here at the station at WBIR and more going to come in on top of that the ground is very very saturated be aware that if you do have to go out anywhere tonight don't drive through standing water we'll have the complete details on your on your forecast coming up in a few minutes including a drying period that'll come up for the later portion of the day tomorrow, Beth. All right, thank you so much, Julia. Well, the heavy rains left one West Knoxville family literally underwater. This house just off Bridgewater saw water rise halfway up to the roof. The owner says a levee broke behind their house, causing a creek to flood, sending a surge of water right into their backyard. It was a scary situation, but the owner's quick thinking helped them get on the right track fast. Well, we were doing fine with the pump that we've got installed down there, uh, but what happened is it was overrun because the levee behind me uh, had broken down and then all the water upstream uh, basically flooded this area, this area uh, to the point to where we, we couldn't get rid of it. Stevens says he'll be spending the night watching his home and the water to make sure it doesn't rise. Well, Knox County wasn't the only area to see flooded creeks and streams. Because of fast rising water, first responders are standing by. Lenore City rescue workers responded to a Loudoun County Park on a report of a person being washed downstream. Crews made all the necessary preparations and began searching the nearby waterways. But they also have a warning to people who are out and about. The danger is, your car could be swept away if you're up there on the road. If you're walking through here and you're wanting just to play, this is rushing water. It will suck you under. There is currents. For now, Lenore City authorities say the initial call turned out to be a false alarm, but crews there say they'll be standing by throughout the night, ready if they are needed. We've also been told that Knox County water rescue teams are staying manned throughout the night in case they are needed as well. Well, the storm has not only caused flooding and traffic woes, it also delayed the kickoff of the UT football game. When the teams and band couldn't take the field on schedule, the stands emptied out. The rain forced fans under parking garages and into hallways around the stadium. Parking lots cleared out and then filled up again off and on all day long. But fans stuck it out one way or another and <laughs> their soggy suffering certainly paid off. Dan Farkas joins us now with the Vols. Big win tonight despite the weather. Didn't really seem to be an issue. It certainly wasn't an issue but it is one of those games that you think the players mm -hmm. and the fans and the coaches and everyone are really going to remember for several years to yeah. come. And we say that because both teams really had to wait an extra hour to get things going. You just don't see that very much in college football though it didn't really seem to impact the Vols in their homecoming matchup against the Thundering Herd of Marshall. We're going to start things off with some defense. Xavier Mitchell and Matt McLaughlin sacking Bernard Morris. That would give the Vols a 2-0 lead in the first. Then Eric Ainge on a third and one would go 47 yards to Jason Swain for the touchdown. Swain had 95 receiving yards on five catches. The Vols were up 9-0. Then take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen, because you are watching Tennessee football history. LaMarcus Coker in a 16-7 game. 89
nine yards for the touchdown to bust the thing open. The third longest run in UT history. Give the Vols a 33-7 win. Steve Phillips was at the game, spoke with players, coaches, and everyone else. We're going to have complete reaction and additional highlights to the big game coming up in just a few minutes in sports. But certainly a very nice win for the Vols. Their 22nd homecoming win in the last 23 games. Not a bad record. No, not a bad record at all. And a great win. And Vol fans are probably celebrating tonight. So thank you so much, Dan. Well, thousands of people are cleaning up after a series of deadly storms crossed the Midwest. Tonight, some areas are bracing for more severe weather. Leanne Gregg has the latest. This is the scene across parts of the Midwest after severe storms brought tornadoes, damaging hail, and flooding. At least seven people have died in the storms. In Lexington, Kentucky, where close to a foot of rain has fallen since Friday, high water swept away two women on a flooded street. The bodies were found this morning, one of them in this man's yard. It was a shock. Uh, it, I had to go inside and gather my thoughts together a little bit. It was very tragic. People use sandbags to try and hold back the fast rising water. In southeast Missouri, along with flooding, tornadoes roared through the region. At least two touched down, damaging hundreds of structures, including a school. We had a tornado drill when we heard about it, and then we had another. And then when we let the kids go back to the classroom, and about a half hour later, it was the real thing. Another twister in Illinois brought down trees and power lines. Across the Midwest, thousands of people remain without power. The severe weather is pushing eastward, and more strong storms are in the forecast. Lee and Greg, NBC News. Six people have died in Kentucky, and one person was killed in Arkansas. Well, three people are dead after an early morning car crash in Alcoa. It happened near the Green Acres flea market when police say a car carrying three passengers pulled out in front of a garbage truck. Police say the crash caused the car to catch on fire, killing all the passengers inside. The drivers of the garbage truck were not hurt. Authorities have not released the identities of victims, and they're still investigating the accident. It's not every day that a four-star Army general makes a stop in East Tennessee. Coming up, hear from a decorated East Tennessee native who paid a visit in his hometown today to meet up with some soldiers who will soon be heading overseas. And some East Tennessee families went for a stroll today for a great cause. That's coming up next. 10 Weather Plus is brought to you by Ted Russell Ford. Two giant locations, Kingston Pike at Walker Springs and 9925 Parkside Drive. Home of the 12888 F-150. Health Insight said Methodist is the top hospital in all of Tennessee. Methodist was ranked better than national standards for infection prevention by the Centers for Disease Control. Methodist was the first hospital ever to win Tennessee's highest quality award. And that was before Methodist was rebuilt, renovated, and reinvented. A higher standard of health care, a much higher standard. Methodist Medical Center, member of Covenant Health. This is it. The Chevy model year end event is almost over. The last of the 06s are going fast. So come get your Chevy before someone else does. Like Colorado regular cab LS with available street pack that gets an EPA estimated 27 highway MPG. Get this 2006 Chevy Colorado regular cab two-wheel drive with 0% APR financing. Claim yours before they're gone. See your local Chevy dealer. Will someone please help me with my mortgage? Imagine being able to pay off your mortgage entirely. I like that. I'd love it. It could happen with AmSouth's home free sweepstakes. Open an eligible AmSouth deposit or loan account between September 5th and November 10th, and you're automatically entered into our home free sweepstakes. What a concept. Just for opening an AmSouth deposit or loan account. I love it. The home free sweepstakes from AmSouth. Come see what today's best banking relationship can do for you. yourself with Cricket. Unlimited anytime minutes, U.S. long distance, picture text and I am for just $45 a month with no signed contracts. Save $100 on a Motorola Razor when you switch to Cricket. Just sign up for the $45 plan, keep your number, and add unlimited mobile web. Straight from the heart of East Tennessee, this is 10 News Nightbeat. 
Members of the 278th Armored Cavalry Regiment and the 134th Air Refueling Wing were honored today by a hometown boy who's also a four-star general. General B.B. Bell is originally from Oak Ridge. He's currently the commander of all U.S. forces in Korea, as well as the United Nations Forces in Command, and the U.S.-Korea Combined Forces, putting him in charge of 900,000 troops. Today, General Bell honored members of the 278th Armored Cavalry Regiment and the 134th Air Refueling Wing. Afterward, they returned the favor, giving the general a reminder of home to take back to Korea. Bell says it's always special when he gets a chance to meet with Tennessee soldiers and airmen. There are hundreds and hundreds of Tennesseans mobilized and serving around the world today. Uh, so it's not about what happened in the past or what's going to happen in the future. It's about a continuing commitment by the citizens of this state to their National Guard uh, to serve their governor and then serve the, the nation when called. General Bell attended the UT game this afternoon. He returns to Korea tomorrow. Well, despite the rain, families across East Tennessee grabbed their sneakers and strollers and headed outdoors. It's part of an entire week of festivities, excuse me, to celebrate the Imagination Library's success and to say thank you to its supporters. During today's event, appropriately called Strollerthon, kids and parents signed up for the program and completed a two-mile walk around Lakeshore Park. Walkers even had a chance to win prizes from Babies R Us, including a new stroller. This is to celebrate Imagination Library being in every county across Tennessee to celebrate family literacy and encourage people to become involved. Events wrap up tomorrow at several libraries in the area. If you would like more information on the Imagination Library program, you can call 215-8784. And we're coming right back with a look at your forecast after this. Get meteorologist Todd Howell's forecast on the new Sentinel weather line, 521-6300. Then listen to the 10 weather team's forecast all day tomorrow on WJDT-FM 106.5. You shot a 71 last week? Shot around a 71? You can't shoot around anything. It's your score. It's an exact number. Excuse me, fellas. Can somebody shoot around a 71? Who? Him. Him? No. The spacious Cadillac DTS. Ready for your foursome. Visit your East Tennessee Cadillac dealer for this attractive offer. It's going to be great. Swimming, fishing, cooking out. Thanking the best brother a guy could ever have for helping me out through some tough times. No, it's ancient history. Oh, man. You like that? I bet you could afford something like that these days, huh? Maybe you can have one, too. You own it, bro. It's just my way of saying thanks for, for everything. Are you kidding? Not at all. I have a boat? <laughs> you have a boat. This is my boat? You have a big boat. <laughs> I fell in love with this leather sofa. And then when I saw the low price, I nearly fell on the floor. You'll fall in love, too, during the fall sale at American Signature Furniture. Right now, you can enjoy this stylish microfiber sofa and oversized chair or this lovely two-piece microfiber sectional for just $8.99. Save up to one half or even more. Plus, get professional in-home express delivery with a guaranteed three-hour delivery window. The fall sale going on now at American Signature Furniture. More fashion, better prices. It's Nina, right? Right. Which one of these phones looks like it comes with a great network? I don't know. Okay. Which one feels like it comes with a great network? No idea. Exactly, because you can't really tell unless you hear the network. Hear for yourself how great our network is. Put it to the test for 30 days. Not even the sniff test helps. U.S. Cellular. We connect with you. Right now, get a Kyocera Slider Remix for just $69.95. Maybe you want a sedan designed for the driver. Or one that's also beautiful on the inside. Or one that can outrun the price of gas. There's a way to have all three. Introducing the 2007 Saturn Aura Midsize Sedan. Get a new 2007 Saturn Aura starting at $20,595. Now, 10 News Nightbeat continues. Well, the severe thorn, thunderstorms, excuse me, have passed, but now the big concern, all the flooding, of course, meteorology, 
Meteorologist, I can't talk tonight. <laughs> Julia Johnson joins us with the very latest. Big issue, all the water on the roadways and in many people's yards. Yeah, we did have quite a bit on the roadways. Flooding, as we saw some pictures earlier, some mm -hmm. of the flooding on the streets, still going to be an issue through the overnight hours, even into the day tomorrow. No, we're not out of the woods yet. We do have a flood watch across East Tennessee that lasts until tomorrow afternoon. We're going to see these showers now. Notice lots of green all over the radar. These are going to last off and on into the early afternoon tomorrow. So that's why we still have that flood watch in effect that lasts until tomorrow afternoon. Lots of green out there. Most of the stronger thunderstorms have passed on through. We still have some thunderstorms down to our south around Monroe County, but most of the stronger thunderstorms have really died on down. And now we just have all of this rain to deal with. The heavier pockets still back toward Cumberland and Ray counties. This is going to continue to move through as we go throughout the next several hours. These showers here, the main band, notice there is a break off to the west, but more showers are behind that that are going to push through as we continue to go through the overnight hours. So just off and on, even into the afternoon tomorrow, this is going to stick with us through the day. 67 degrees is the current temperature, so it is a little bit cool out there. Dew point at 65, humidity 93%, and we have a southeast breeze blowing at 8 miles per hour. We're going to be at 68 degrees tonight. That's going to be about what it'll be in the morning hours as well for Blaine and Alcoa. 67 for Oakdale, 68 in All Good, 69 in Pikeville, and 72 degrees down at Lookout Mountain. Here are our showers, how they're located right now. Notice the watch box is really going away. The only thing we now, ha now have is that flood watch that lasts until tomorrow afternoon because we still have quite a bit of rainfall out there. We also have a band developing just behind this band, and that's going to continue to push through as we go throughout the early morning hours tomorrow into the afternoon, even a few scattered showers possible here and there. Any additional rainfall we get just going to add on to the already saturated ground. We got two to four inches of rainfall across East Tennessee today, all associated with this cold front that's still well off to our west. That's going to push through through the day tomorrow. And once that finally gets out of here, we are going to see drying conditions behind that and cooler air too. Here's Sunday at 8 a.m. We have those showers still sticking with us. Could still see some strong thunderstorms out there as well. Those are going to push through as we go through the day. Chances for rain will decrease. And then we're going to see drying conditions by Sunday evening. Monday, the sunshine comes back out. That's going to stay with us even into Tuesday. 65 degrees will be the overnight low tonight on the plateau. Scattered thunderstorms sticking with us off and on. Same story here in the valley. A few off and on showers sticking with us through the afternoon. 68 degrees will be the overnight low. And up in the mountain areas, a mild night. But we still have that potential for flooding out there. Just be aware of that, especially if you need to go out and about. Don't drive through flooded roadways because we will have a few of those still sticking with us through the overnight hours into tomorrow. 75 degrees will be the high temperature tomorrow afternoon. These showers will taper off during the day. Monday through Wednesday, beautiful conditions with sunshine coming back out. But look at next Saturday. We may not get out of the 60s. Ooh, grab a sweater. Yeah, changing weather pattern out there. All right, thank you so much, Julia. Dan Farkas, the wait was worth it. Fall celebrating another win tonight. Certainly celebrating a big win. And in spite of all this stuff, the estimated 65 to 70,000 people wow. showed up at Neyland Stadium. We were talking about that earlier. I know I was driving in about... Um, an hour before the game and I had an easy drive in but a lot of traffic rare but still yeah. a pretty robust crowd and I think they like what they saw a little bit after last week's loss in Florida there were still a lot of questions about the volunteers questions about the running game questions about the consistency at quarterback also some questions about the defense the volunteers trying to answer all of those questions let's go to Neyland Stadium where rain delayed the game for an hour but Tennessee's defense got things going in a hurry Xavier Mitchell and Matt McLaughlin combined a sack Bernard Morris in the end zone. That makes it 2-0 volunteers. Then it turned into the Eric Ainge show. Ainge on third and one goes deep to Jason Swain. 45 yards for the score. Swain with 98 receiving yards on five catches. Marshall quarterback Bernard Morris had a spectacular game for Marshall, getting them on the board in the second. One-yard keeper made it a two-point game. Morris with 142 of Marshall's 236 total yards. 9-7 Vols when Montario Hardesty provides that tough running that Vols fans wanted to see after the Florida game. 20-yard score gives the Vols a 16-7 lead at half. It was that same score in the fourth quarter. Things a little testy. A nine-point game and LaMarcus Coker makes Tennessee history. You are looking at the third longest run in the history of Tennessee football. 
89 yards when it's all said and done, making it 23-7 Vols. Coker with 146 of Tennessee's 176 rushing yards. Later in the fourth, Tennessee's defense closing the game out. The freshman Dan Williams with the sack on Morris. Let's show you the final. Tennessee, 33, Marshall 7. The Vols 3-1 and one heading to Memphis next week. Eric Ainge with 256 yards passing. Now to Steve Phillips with reaction and analysis. The weather today uh, postponed a couple of things that are ball traditions. The ball walk. First time since it started in 1990, the team didn't walk through the crowd because of the rain. And also the first time they didn't run through the tee formed by the band since that tradition started in the 60s. It delayed kickoff for 55 minutes, but in the end, it only delayed the inevitable for Marshall. Vols, a 33-7 winner. We didn't do a ball walk. We, we were rushed. We didn't, we didn't read the game maxims. We didn't run through the tee. It was really, it was really awkward and weird. My four years here, I always experienced the ball walk, always experienced the uh, running through the tee, but I mean, it, it was just a little thing you had to just get used to. Uh, it was kind of odd for me. None of that. We didn't get maximums, ball walk, or running out of the tee, so that was a little different, and I uh, hated it for some people because, you know, a lot of people like to enjoy that, and I enjoy it. When the balls finally got on the field, it took a while to get going. The defense lit the fire with the safety, and Eric Ainge poured fuel on it with a strike to Jason Swain. We knew all week that their safeties and DBs would bite on the run. And so third and one, there's no better time to call it. Coach Cut made a great call, and we just executed the play. The ball's main goal was to establish their running game. The confidence came back in the second half. We came up with a slow start. You know, I got a you know a good touchdown running that. You know, Lamarcus Coker came and did some good things today. So I think you know um, we finally kind of got back on track with our running game this game. Coker's 89-yard sprint had everyone buzzing. I had my guy on the ground. I looked up, and then he was already 40 yards downfield, and it could have been three seconds later. <laughs> Man, it looked like he was running <laughs> three second 40. The offensive line did a great job of getting him to those safeties, and then from then on, he just he outran two of them with pursuit angles. So, you know, that's that's pretty special. It was wonderful. Uh, to see him, uh, see him take it the distance. We hadn't had a, a long run like that in, in some time. At what point did you think I'm on free? When I got in the end zone, because I didn't know how fast the dude behind me was running, so I just just ran as fast as I could to to I crossed that pot line. There are still areas of concern on both sides of the ball and plenty of room for improvement. I think we did some really good things. I think we got a lot of people, particularly up front, up in the in the game. Uh, you know. It's, uh, you know, you got, to, you got to build on this performance. It's not where we want to be. Uh, Jimmy, we're not where we need to be right now. Well, now the Vols become road warriors. Next two games on the road at Memphis and Georgia. At Neyland Stadium, Steve Phillips, 10 Sports. Real quick, we got to show you the Alabama highlights. This is double overtime, and tide kicker Lee Tippin misses the extra point. The Tide up six when Mitch Mustaine would hit Ben Cleveland for the 23-yard score, and they get the extra point. Arkansas defeats Alabama double overtime, 24-23. Real quick, Florida game, very interesting stuff. Kentucky hasn't won in Florida since the Carter administration. This play, I think, was actually drawn up in my backyard by Joe Tatalovich in sixth grade, but it works for Florida. 33 yards makes it 6-0. Florida goes on to win 26-7. Auburn and Georgia also SEC winners. And a crazy day in the world of football. A lot of rain everywhere oh, out yeah, there. Yeah, and a heartbreaking loss for those Alabama fans. Tough for yeah. them, but they're resilient. They bounce back. Sure. Thank you so much, Dan. He already holds, there we go, several records for his award-winning eating. Coming up, see how one man took on another challenge today and his meal of choice, lobster. It's coming up next. A community is made of individual priorities and personal dreams. At Home Federal, serving those needs means adjusting to the times. Today's Home Federal offers tomorrow's banking, like unsurpassed Home Plus Platinum checking with identity theft protection, secure real-time online banking, and a more diverse portfolio of investments than ever before. We're Home Federal, and we're just as interested in how you bank as where you bank. Home Federal Bank. American dreams. Hometown answers. Fresh from O'Charlie's Wild Kitchen. Bold new fire roasted flavors you've never tasted before. Like O'Charlie's new French onion sirloin. Topped with caramelized onions and melted Swiss cheese. Fresh salmon grilled on a cedar plank for a smoky roasted flavor. And O'Charlie's new zesty orange peel chicken. Starting at just $9.99. So come taste the wild side of O'Charlie's today. Right here at the corner of Good Food and Good Times. Bada boom boom dee da, scada da 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 dee da, skiddy 
We have doubled the number of new patients that's come into the office since working with the Real Yellow Pages and the Companion Directory. We have patients calling from 30, 40 miles away that come into our office because of the Companion Directory. The small investment that you have to make is well worth it, and the numbers of new patients in our office has just gone through the roof. Call today to advertise. May the best choice win. Right now, there are more reasons than ever to shop Rooms to Go. Just check our Rooms to Go Advantage checklist. Reason one, Rooms to Go now offers a choice of two interest-free ways to finance. Hold your first payment until January 2008 or finance interest-free until January 2010. Either plan, there's no interest. You get great-looking furniture at unbeatable Rooms to Go prices. Plus, next-day delivery on in-stock merchandise. So check it out right now. This is it. The Chevy model year end event is almost over. The last of the 06s are going fast. So come get your Chevy before someone else does. Like Silverado Half Ton, JD Power and Associates highest ranked large pickup in initial quality. Buy a 2006 Chevy Silverado Half Ton Extended Cab Z85 and get $4,500 cash back. Claim yours before they're gone. See your local Chevy dealer. For centuries, immigrants came to America legally. They worked hard and made America great. But today, we've lost control of our borders. We need a new immigration policy that reflects America's values. First, secure this border. Allow people to work here, but only if they're legal. And no amnesty. Those employed but here illegally must go home and return through legal channels. And those who want to become citizens must learn the English language. I'm Bob Corker, and I approve this message. And finally, tonight, the world's master eater sets a new record. Kobayashi blew away the competition at the World Lobster Roll Eating Challenge in Boston. In just 10 minutes, he ate 41 lobster rolls, which is a new record. The prize, $10,000. He has, hasn't been beaten since he turned pro in 1998. Hungry, anyone? I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Closed captioning of this newscast is brought to you in Newscribe, sponsored by your local Ford dealer. Visit our showrooms today. I started church the old-fashioned way. I was forced to, and I'm better for it. I'm Harold Ford, Jr., and here I learned the difference between right and wrong. And now Mr. Corker's doing wrong. First spending millions telling untruths about his Republican opponents, both of them good men, and now me. I voted for the Patriot Act, five trillion in defense and against amnesty for illegals. I approve this message because I won't let them make me someone I'm not, and I'll always fight for you. Give me that chance. Don't vote this November. Don't vote. Don't vote. Don't vote. Please don't vote. Do what's right, and don't vote. Really? Don't vote, Tennessee. Don't vote until you know where the candidates stand on the issues. Where they stand on retirement savings. Health care reform. Social security. Use your head as well as your heart. And don't vote. Until you know exactly how the candidates are going to vote on the issues. Go to don'tvote.com. Governor Bredesen's done a pretty good job, hadn't he? Good job? He's made Tennessee a mecca for illegal aliens. Stood by as graduation rankings plunged. Kicked terminally ill Tennesseans off tin care. And led a corrupt and scandalous administration. I'm Jim Bryson, and this race has just begun. Jim Bryson, the governor with big ideas and a big, big heart. Border security doesn't just stop illegal immigrants, it stops terrorists. But Harold Ford Jr. voted four times against more funding for border agents and against using troops to help protect our borders. Ford voted twice to cut intelligence funding and against reauthorizing the Patriot Act. No wonder Harold Ford has been rated the most liberal congressman from Tennessee. With that kind of voting record, he has to be. The Republican National Committee is responsible for the content of this advertisement. Dramatization of Acura's super handling all wheel drive technology. On the new Turbo 
turbocharged Acura RDX. It's precision handling, advanced. Misplacing, forgetting, or repeating could be early signs of Alzheimer's. Visit this website or call this number. Once diagnosed, there are treatment options. Deep within your hair lies precious color. Reveal it with Pantene Expressions for brunettes, blondes, and reds. Promashine Pro Vitamin Formulas bring out the jewel-like intensity of your color. So every blazing facet is lit with brilliance. Reveal your color's jewel-like intensity. Experience the new look of the Pantene Expressions Hair Care Collection. That's the beauty of healthy-looking hair. And now, try new highlight-enhancing expressions for blondes. The ability to react fast can make all the difference. New and improved Shell V-Power Premium Gasoline. Now designed to clean your engine twice as fast as before. And a cleaner engine helps deliver improved performance for your vehicle. Try new and improved Shell V-Power Gasoline and start cleaning your engine today. Shell V-Power. Fuel developed with Ferrari. Our top story this hour, a highway overpass collapses north of Montreal, trapping several vehicles.